Do you find yourself questioning whether manifestation is real? You struggle with some logical thinking and you know, you hear new self all the time. You gotta become new self. You have to change your self concept. But what if we have another way to get around that, to get around your logical thinking and overthinking and getting around what we need to change about self and still successfully manifest exactly what you want? If you're interested in finding out what I'm talking about, keep watching this video. Hello, my fellow flawless, limitless, sexy, sassy, saucy, HBICs. How are you on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? I have a very exciting video today. This is not a typical manifestation video. This video is going in another direction, but getting you to still get exactly what you want. So if you're new here, how you doing? I'm Kimberly, and I am obsessed with getting every single thing I want. I like getting what I want. I'm sure you do too. And my goal, my journey is making manifestation easy, simple for anybody that watches my videos. I want it to be easy because it feels easy to me. It feels really, really easy and I'm successful. Things show up. I don't have to sit in a lot of doubt. Now that's not who I used to be, not at all. I needed to become a new self. And that's something we often hear about in this community is, you know, we are changing our version of self. We're becoming a new, we're changing realities. And sometimes all of that can be a little overwhelming, a little stressful, and it leads to overthinking. A lot of overthinking, a lot of logical thoughts. We're always battling the logical, negative thoughts. Well, today I got something for you that I think might just help getting around that kind of thinking, okay? But first, if you need help figuring out what's going on between you and your manifestation, please feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. All of my coaching options are in the drop box below. They're in the screens that just went by. I have two channel memberships where I go live with my channel members every single week, twice a week. I go live with my exclusive lives group, that is the group that gets together on Tuesdays, today's Tuesday, at 9.30 p.m. ish Eastern Standard Time. That is a success story, tips and tricks group only. We don't talk about personal circumstances per se. We talk about successes. We want encouragement. We want to feel judged when we go to that meeting, right? We want to leave there feeling pumped up to be new self and get what we want, right? And then I have the Friday group that I go live with them every single Friday at 9 a.m. ish Eastern Standard Time. That's the hot seat slash group coaching. That's the group you join when you want to get in that hot seat and ask me exactly what you want about your specific circumstances. And I mean that. You can literally ask me whatever you want. That is the group to come to. If you're feeling discouraged, if you're needing help, if you're feeling like, oh, I just want to ask him just one question and guarantee she'll answer it. That's the group. That is the group. However, it does come with a trigger warning. If you get triggered by other people's circumstances and listening to other people's stories, you might not want to be a part of that group. You know what I'm saying? However, if you do join that group, you have access to both my channel members. Chips. Okay, I have TikTok, I have Instagram, I got Clapper, and I am the most active here. However, I would love for you to join me everywhere. And if you're just loving my spicy little personality, I would love for you to come over to my other channel, which is Kimberly's Other Life. That literally means the other side of me, outside of manifestation. Please come over, let's be friends, but please let me know that you're there. Let me know in the comments that you're my new friend because YouTube doesn't always tell me exactly who's subscribing. So how else am I going to know you're my new friend if you don't let me know? You know what I'm saying? And finally, like I was starting to say, if you're new, I would love for you to subscribe and come back and see me. Like I said, man, I'm obsessed with getting what I want. I'm sure you are too. 
at least a little bit, or else you wouldn't be watching this content, right? So subscribe and come back and see me. So finally, let's shut up the selling myself part and let's jump into today's video. Okay, now, if you've been with me for a while and you do watch all of my content, I normally hop right in and give you tips and tricks and zhuzhes. If you're new, zhuzh just means pumping you up. I give zhuzhes around manifestation from my perspective, from my experiences. So I will start this out with uh, allowing you to know that I do believe that we have the instant ability to become a new version of ourself. I absolutely believe that. I utilize that. I choose to be a particular version of myself every single day. It's how I start my day. It's how I stay on top of myself. Yeah. And what I mean by that is, you know, we're human. We're here to have a human experience. So therefore, we're going to have human experiences. And sometimes those experiences aren't always lovable, enjoyable, fun, right? We don't like those moments. They suck. They're boring. But in those moments, we sometimes get into old habits. We get sucked into the 3D world and we start forgetting who the hell we are. And who we are is pure, unadulterated consciousness. That means we are at, 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 at our core, limitless, flawless. We legitimately, literally can be, do, and have absolutely anything. And that includes manifesting a specific person. Yes, it does. So I know that with this mindset and with this, the way I word it is making the decision to be your new self, but sometimes that feels like, Kim, girl, what are you talking about? That is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Okay, I'm just me. I'm just me. What do you mean new self? I know that can get confusing. I also know that manifestation's a damn trend item right now. It's almost a fashion statement to make manifestation videos, if that's not what you normally record for content. And it's going to guarantee yourself some video views. I know that, right? So because of that, and because that's in my awareness, right? Whatever we put into our focus, put into our awareness, we are then going to experience it in our 3D. So it's in my awareness that there's a lot of manifestation content out there and it can get super confusing, sometimes even a little bit annoying where we want to take a break from watching anybody or anything. I totally understand. And the message sometimes gets lost. It gets lost in the muddy waters of that trend word manifestation. It gets lost. We get lost. We get overwhelmed. And then, you know, if we're new to this journey, all this information about how you know, I can just change self. I'm going to hop to a new reality. That's possible. Quantum leaping is a real thing. I don't know. Where's the science in that, right? We all have those questions. And when our 3D world, if you're new, your 3D is just what you're living and experiencing. From my perspective, this is my 3D. This is my little pit bull sitting next to me. She ain't little. She ain't little. She ain't almost 100 pounds. She ain't little. She's wearing a little Halloween t-shirt. Anyway, uh... This is my 3D world. This is my 3D experience. You guys are viewing me recording in my 3D. So it's your everyday life. It's what you wake up to every day, your 3D. And yes, we do have the ability to choose any reality we want to be in. But when we struggle with that thinking, and yet we really do have a desire that we want, right? You wouldn't be watching this content if you didn't. Sometimes we need to take a different avenue. We need to take a different look. We need to think of things a little differently. So if you are someone that struggles with the idea of I'm becoming a new self, if that just seems outer limits to you, then why don't we try a different perspective called the alter ego effect, the alter ego effect. Now, if you were to Google that phrase, you're going to find a particular book and by a particular author, which I will share. It is called The Alter Ego Effect, The Power of Secret Identities to Transform Your Life. The author is Todd Herman. So, The Alter Ego Effect. What is it? If you find it outer limits, find your mind is filled with doubts when you think about choosing to be new self, why don't we use an approach that I can't even tell you how many pro athletes and other professionals throughout the world 
use this idea. They use this as a technique. What the alter ego is, is simply what it sounds like, an alter ego. So for example, Mr. Herman, who wrote the book, he struggled with, you know, not being so confident in his early days of life, but he was a sports fanatic and loved playing sports. And he remembered, after watching Oprah one day, there is this woman on the Oprah show who she was discussing how at some, either in an auction of some kind, she purchased a pair of Oprah's shoes. And when she was finding herself down in life, not really, you know, not happy with life, having, you know, maybe like a shitty mood, maybe feeling a little bit depressed, she would pop on those shoes that she purchased and step in to her new identity, like Oprah's identity. And it gave her a boost of confidence and it helped her, you know, get success in the world because of those shoes, simple pair of shoes. Do you see what I'm saying? So obviously I'm summarizing this book, but I'm going to let you know that Todd Herman himself, when he saw that TV show, it sparked the memory of, oh my gosh, I was doing the same thing when I was younger. So what this did was that it triggered a memory of Todd's. And it was that when he was younger, wanting and desiring to play football while in school, he was not built like a normal football player, right? So he had this idea of, now mind you, this is a child doing this or a, a young teen, had the idea of, well, I, I really enjoy Walter Payton, okay? I really enjoy Walter Payton and I really enjoy Ronnie Lott. And he had the little sports cards. I don't know what they're called. You know, I know there's baseball cards, but these are the football little cards. He would take them and he would stuff them in his uniform so that when he got all his football gear in, keeping in mind, He's not built like the bigger boys. When he would get out in the field, he would step in to a different version of himself. What he looked at like an alter ego. So as he was watching that Oprah show, it, it sprung that memory and he thought, well, why can I not do this going forward in life? And why can I not coin something why can't I coin the phrase the alter ego effect and help other people to do it? But he didn't think he was a businessman. He didn't think he had any, you know, what do you say, like credentials or anything that would show him that people would take his advice and listen to him, right? But he remembered that when he did step onto that field, thinking he was into this alter ego, that he had the, the power and the force and the running capabilities of his favorite football players, he was really successful, very successful. It worked, but it worked because he believed he was stepping outside of his day-to-day -day normal little guy self. He believed like a Superman suit that he was stepping into it thanks to the cards. So like that woman, she stepped into Oprah's shoes and all of a sudden, she's this confident, on top of the world woman. And I believe she literally said, like, the weight of the world came off my shoulders. I became a different person and therefore had success. So essentially, the woman's shoes, his playing cards. And as I was saying, he wanted to make this a business. He used a pair of glasses. He took his pair of glasses and used them like a totem, as in, when I place these on, I am stepping into my alter ego. Whether we want to name it something else, that's fine too. Some of these professional athletes do use um, names for their alter egos. So what I'm trying to say is, he would place his totem on and boom, he was Mr. Business Savvy. He had the confidence behind his knowledge. He felt like, yes. I can sell this because I am my new self. The point is, maybe there's something you're desiring. Maybe you're trying to manifest a new relationship. Maybe you're trying to manifest money. And the idea of having to change who you are feels a little stressful, feels a little, you know, outside of the box. Well, 
is there anything you can think of that would give you that same confidence as if you were stepping in your little protective layer of the alter ego? Because that's exactly what Mr. Herman felt like. He felt like that those playing cards when he was little, those playing cards, the totem, it gave him strength. And his playing on the field, according to the book, was awesome. It was amazing. It worked, right? But it was shielding his current self. And that's exactly what he looked at it as, a shield, a shield of armor. Because listen, every single one of us has been conditioned to be who we are today. And when it comes to manifestation, the idea is we need to break the habit of being the current version of self and therefore become the version of self that does have the manifestation, the version of self that aligns with the manifestation. So what if we created our own alter ego? And that's exactly how we look at it as I'm still me. I still might have beliefs that I don't find very favorable, but I can step in to my alter ego and know that the alter version of me, the alter ego, my shield, that version of me doesn't have any limited beliefs. She's ready for love or she's ready for money to come in. As a matter of fact, this version of me doesn't know the difference, has never experienced being in lack, has never experienced not getting the specific person she wants. She's confident. She knows she's good enough. She's worthy and deserving of her relationship. I keep saying she because I'm a she. But my point is, what if there's a totem that you can think of? Maybe it's a, a, a check. What if it's a check written out to yourself for a million dollars? that you stuff inside your wallet and carry it around with you all the time so that you can step into alter ego self that is a millionaire or a multimillionaire. Again, that's just an example. That's not something you specifically have to use. That's not the one way to step into alter ego. It is not. It's whatever sounds good to you. So when you're thinking of your specific person and, and 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 you being in the most loving, fulfilling, committed relationship with your person, maybe a ring serves as the totem. Maybe you place a ring on your finger and you know in those moments, I am this new self or alter ego or the married version of myself. So when I am interacting with a specific person, I'm confident. I'm knowing who the hell I am. I'm knowing that I have no limiting beliefs and that this person cannot help but to love me. We'll use me as an example. Let's say I'm stepping into the alter ego version of myself. My alter ego is Mrs. Kimberly SP's last name. And I know that when I place my totem ring on, I'm her. I'm the version of self. I'm the alter ego that is the complete knowing that that man cannot help but be head over heels in love with me. I know that when I step into alter ego, I am protected. I know who I am. This alter ego version of me is handling the world for me. It's handling the 3D for me. It's handling my interaction with a specific person. And then I know that when the alter ego shield steps in, that she always knows the right thing to say. She makes all the right decisions. She knows she's loved. She knows she's desired, pursued, wanted. She knows she's wifey material. And she knows that that is the only way she is being seen by her specific person. Her specific person doesn't know her limitations that she falsely believes she has on the inside, just saying. But stepping into alter ego can help you just for a little time, depending on how often you want to do this. You know that by default, you're embodying, you're embodying a state. You're really embodying the version of you that has her desires or his desires. But instead of stressing yourself out, trying to dig into what are my limited beliefs? What's keeping love away from me? Uh, this seems like a lot of stressful work. I'm letting alter ego take over. 
I'm putting on my magical, I'm automatically married and living my best life ring totem. And that version of me, that alter ego is taking the, the wheel. It's taking the wheel, taking the reins. She knows what to do. She always knows what to do. She has the answers to everything. And this in itself can help you get to the place of no longer overthinking all the quote unquote rules of manifestation. It can help you know, believe, trust that your alter ego is stepping in and doing all the things that need to be done to get you into the version of self that has your desires. Your alter ego is taking over the wheel. There's nothing to worry about. And you get to decide what alter ego is just like you would new self. Now, if you are already someone that has no issue with deciding to be new self and you're comfortably doing that, then I don't think you need an alter ego unless, of course, you feel that you're battling manifesting money. You, you feel like your limiting beliefs are holding you back. Well, let's create an alter ego that knows all the decisions, knows everything perfectly, knows who the hell she is around money, invests in all the right places, sees where money can come to her without overstressing the how. What if your alter ego was the version of you that comfortably trusts manifestation? And therefore, every single time we put our totem on, whether it's a ring or a pair of glasses, we know that doubtful thoughts are like, boof, popped right off. We are like iron Teflon. Nothing scares alter ego. No thoughts, no negative, shitty, doubtful thoughts can get through the barrier, the Teflon barrier of alter ego. Like I said in the beginning of this video, a lot of professional athletes utilize this idea. It's a technique. Let's keep it real. It's a technique that really is getting them into a new version of themselves. They think they step back out of it and become their original or, you know, the beginner self. Really, what they're doing is shifting states. It's really all it is. So don't stress out and think, oh, my God, this sounds like a good idea. But is it really manifesting? Is it really going to help me manifest? You bet your ass it is. You bet your ass it is. It is absolutely no different than shifting states, like I just said. So if you struggle with manifestation and you struggle with the idea of becoming a new self and you, you are doing a lot of overthinking and doubting and, you know, feeling from your perspective, if linear time was real, wasting time. Maybe you're afraid that you're adding time to your manifestation bridge of incidents. But what if you believed that your alter ego can step in when you feel that way and handles the 3D for you and takes control of your mind and puts the focus in the right place? If we step into alter ego and we can trust that alter ego is that powerful protector of our current self and is taking things over for us, that is going to bring in so much confidence, so much confidence. And guess what? It's going to quickly change your reality. It's going to change it really fast. Why? Because although from this perspective, it's just stepping into a new self, to you who struggles with doubts, who struggles with the idea of manifestation, alter ego is taking over all the duties that you feel currently you struggle with or doubt or are afraid you're not strong enough to manifest whatever your desires are, especially if they're desires that you feel like you've been on the road manifesting a long time, even though time is not linear. I'd like to say that I don't think it's a coincidence that Mr. Herman did place one specific sentence that really sticks out to me. However, we do know that our imaginations are an incredible force to create new worlds and new possibilities if used with intention. It's really just manifestation. But the point is, is I know that not everyone can just 
stick to this idea of manifestation. And it can be a hard pill to swallow to figure out that you've been creating and manifesting your entire reality and you've been doing it since you got to this planet or this earth or this dimension. I know it can be, especially if you're a super logical thinker. But I want to tell you that even actors are doing this. And I want to give the example of the guy that plays um, Mr. Bean. And his name was Rowan Atkinson. He himself thinks of what he does day to day as stepping into a new character. Beloved British actor Rowan Atkinson, famous for his character Mr. Bean, was bullied for his stuttering throughout his school years as he progressed through school and eventually earned an MSc in electrical engineering from Oxford. He discovered something profound. While in school, the boy who over-articulated and stuttered developed an interest in the dramatic arts. In the August 23rd, 2007 issue of Time Magazine, Atkinson was asked, if he still stuttered, he simply replied, it comes and goes. I find when I play a character other than myself, the stammering disappears. Now listen, I get it. Some of you are probably thinking, yeah, he's an actor. He's playing a version of self. He's playing, you know, a, a role. It's pretend. But isn't it amazing that by playing a different character, by believing he was stepping in, to a different version of self, his mind allowed him to suddenly stop stammering, stuttering, because he was doing his job. I want you to really let that sink in for a second. He's doing his job. He's playing a different character. And something that he struggles with in his day-to-day -day life, and he has since childhood, disappears stops being an issue because he believes he's stepping out of his self, his current self. It's really no different. It's no different than what we're doing here in the manifestation community. He probably, in a sense, we could equate it to these characters that he's playing are alter egos. So if the idea of just becoming a new self feels way out of the way for you, why not? Create yourself, your own alter ego. The alter ego that steps in and shields current self and is taking care of getting you into being the version of self that has your desires. What if? What if that worked? What if this very video is the catalyst moment that you have been on the journey to all along? Meaning... I'm sure the moment you heard about manifestation and realized that you could actually experience your desires, and even though you may doubt it, however, you, you're you here. You're showing up for it. You're making a decision to have your desire. But you might struggle with the doubtful thoughts. Well, what if all along you've been on your manifestation game, you get to this one video that gives you a different outlook on manifestation, a different way to look at it, the alter ego. What if this was your catalyst moment to try this? Because maybe it's this, this, that allows you to drop your walls, drop your guard, and actually allow yourself to shift your state of consciousness. Therefore, manifesting. Again, the power's in your imagination. It's not the alter ego. It's not the affirmations, it's not the visualizations, it's not the scripting, it's not the inner conversations, it's not casting spells. It's using your imagination because the imagination is the powerhouse. The imagination is your connection to God, universe, higher power, source, energy, moonbeams. So who's your alter ego? Who are you going to have step in and be the hero in your world? Wouldn't it be great to know that your fucking superhero has been with you all along, waiting, waiting for you to unleash it? Maybe it's time. Who's your alter ego? Who do you want to be? What do you want your life to look like? What are you manifesting? Let this other version of you step in and take over. 
so that we can stop looking at this whole manifestation thing as I have to fix myself. I'm not good enough as this current version of me to get what I want, so I have to change. If you struggle with that, say goodbye to it. Let alter ego step in and handle everything for you. Sounds like fun to me. And again, successful athletes do this. There's examples in this book where sports professionals literally feel like they step into the alter ego or alter ego steps in and takes over as soon as their foot is on the playing field. They are manifesting. They're, they're changing versions of self. That's all they're doing. So if this is something that you've doubted along your journey, again, maybe this is your catalyst moment video. Try the alter ego effect. And on that note, if you have any questions or you want me to go deeper and give more examples of alter egos to help you manifest, please leave it in my comment section below. I will definitely do that. I think, listen, whatever it takes, I'll make a video on whatever it takes to get you to become new self, to get you to get your desires. I'll make a video on anything, okay? Leave them in the comments below. I'm here to help. I'm here to make it easy, okay? Because it is. You don't want to take the long ass journey that I took to finally get here and get my shit, okay? So on that note, I'll see you tomorrow.